All right, it looks like another nice day out there, Dan. But as you notice, we are now looking ahead to fall. We have our leaves on the seven day forecast and uh -huh. leading into weather. So, are, I, James, I know you don't like pumpkin spice, but no. Is there anything you like about fall? No, I do like the colors of the leaves. Yeah, we, we'll get there. Just give it a few more weeks. Mm -hmm. We are starting to see some color over the Appalachian Mountains to our west and southwest. But for us today, let's talk about the sunshine. We've had some morning cloud cover still in the valleys. We're seeing some of those clouds popping up over the mountains west of Harrisburg. But this is really the only weather factor today. High pressure is right overhead, leading to more sinking air. And skies like this over Kinzers will be common throughout the afternoon. A lot of blue, just some streaks of white there coming on by with the high wispy clouds. But statewide temperatures at a very comfortable le level, even where it was coolest here this morning, now into the upper 60s from Johnstown to State College in Williamsport, 71 in Lancaster, 71 for Harrisburg, too. And the dew points, this is very, very dry air. And this dry air now ahead of what could be a coastal system this weekend will play a role. So dry air currently ahead of that system. That may limit our chances for rain, and we'll show you the latest European model forecast here in a few minutes. But temperatures yesterday, 74 degrees. Today may fall just short of that. Our day planner calling for highs roughly in that territory, but based on current numbers in the upper 60s for some of us, and some areas may fall short. High pressure moving in. As we watch what's left of a front that already moved through, that is going to kind of be the battleground, if you will, to watch this area of low pressure to our south and southeast. So a coastal low forms along the front, but what the models can't seem to agree on is what happens after this low forms. It's slowly taking shape, and then by the weekend, the Carolinas impacted parts of the Mid-Atlantic, but will Pennsylvania be? That's the question. And will it be named the National Hurricane Center? No updates as of today. Still an area of watch or concern from their part of things. But again, no true updates yet. Wait till tomorrow and Friday. I think we'll know a little bit more about this system. But in general today, it's not affecting our forecast. High pressure moving on through. But take a look at our forecast through tomorrow. Pretty much the same, but some of the high clouds from the south begin to sneak in. And the same thing goes for Friday. But the biggest question remains what happens Saturday into Sunday. The European model keeps all this rain to our south and southeast, not only from the first area of low pressure, but also the trailing low too, and dry likely into early next week. If that happens, it'll be another week of dry weather here. But if some of the other model forecasts are correct and we get some rain, that would be awfully beneficial. I still think the jury's out in terms of how much rain we could get from this system. But I wouldn't bank on much more than a half inch to an inch at this point. We'll continue to get more model data in, James. It's right. the only forecast question right now on the seven day. It's surrounded by sunshine. So I know it's a weekend. It's something we're going to be watching very, very closely. But, but as you said, you're, you've been monitoring this because it's been changing every day. A lot and now of changes. It doesn't look like it's going to be much rain at all. Correct. And if it does move in, it would be cloudy and rainy on Saturday, hopefully moving out in time for Sunday. But that's if some of the other models are correct. We'll All wait right. and see. We will stay tuned, Dan. Thank you very much. Sure. Up next, we know.